Of all the books in the Bible, none has fired our imagination more than Apocalypse, the book of Revelation to John. On the Greek Isle of Patmos, Apostle John has visions of angels, beasts, the throne of God, surrounded by the rainbow and the sea of glass, lamb who turns into the conqueror on the white horse, dragons etc etc. These verbal images do resemble those from the medieval astronomical and astrological maps. Look at the ancient sky map painted by Great Albrecht Dürer. Astrology was an essential part of life in 14th-16th centuries. Therefore the Apocalypse prophecy edited and printed during this time contains medieval astronomical and astrological images. The astronomical interpretation of verbal images of Apocalypse yields the following horoscope of planets in the constellations. Planet Jupiter and Sagittarius. Planet Saturn and Scorpio. Planet Venus and Lion. Planet Mars and Gemini. Close to Taurus, under the feet of Perseus. Planet Mercury in Balance. Sun in Virgin, Moon under Virgin's feet. The tradition says the Apocalypse was written in 95 AD by Apostle John. The Apocalypse we know today is the last book of the New Testament. First complete New Testament was edited only in 1515 inches Basel, Switzerland by Erasmus of Rotterdam on the basis of half a dozen of sources. The text of the Apocalypse comes from the manuscript Erasmus lent from the German biblical scholar Ruklin. The only moment in time when the combination of planets and constellations described in the Apocalypse could have been observed live from the island of Patmos was from the 25th of September 1486 to 10th of October 1486. So, when was the Apocalypse, Book of Revelation to Apostle John written? We shall never know just how many historical documents are in fact counterfeit. History in general goes hand in hand with a history of forgeries. Countless chronicles as well as works of art and literature have been considered authentic for centuries before becoming denounced as counterfeit. A presumed fragment of Cicero's De Consolatione discovered by the famous humanist scholar Sigonius only became identified as a work of the latter two centuries after the death of the author, we would probably still believe in Cicero's authorship of said fragment if it hadn't been for the discovery of Sigonius' written confession. Similar examples are rather abundant, the thespian poet Lucius Verus who turned out to be a 18th century Dutch scientist by the name of Herkens plagiarizing from the 16th century Venetian author Carrario, classical text sold to the Leipzig library by a certain Schenus in the 1920s and so forth. Think of just how many remain undiscovered, after all, the larger part of the iceberg always remains underwater. However, there may be an equal amount of valid historical documents in existence that were declared forgeries due to their being at odds with the official history. Anatoly Fomenko, the prominent mathematician, was the first to apply natural scientific methods to historical data. Coming up with a revolutionary theory which implies a radical revision of history as we know it. This theory finally explains such historical oddities as the existence of Christian tabernacles in the pagan town of Pompeii and the Ottoman Turks referred to as Persians in medieval documents. It is rendered in Fomenko's fundamental work entitled, History, Fiction or Science which is finally out in English. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. He follows in the footsteps of Sir Isaac Newton and finds clear evidence of the falsification of history. 
armed with logic, astronomy and computers, Anatoly Fomenko proves that the history of humankind is dramatically different and drastically shorter than is generally presumed. History, fiction or science is now available in bookshops and on Amazon.com.